Now, now these are all men and they're flirting with me. So. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up the border here. Uh, the uh, Elton Mardi Gras was a very strong tradition in the old days. In fact, there was one run that ran north of town, another run that ran south of town, uh, and they were very careful not to meet. Uh, and uh, it disappeared, uh, I don't know why, sort of kind of faded from the scene for a while, and then uh, some families around the, uh, the Elton area, the Markentels and the Gillers, the Bertrands, uh, and a couple of other families uh, decided that they needed to run Mardi Gras again, and they did it in a very, very wonderful way. They decided they needed to run their own Mardi Gras, and so they started talking to some of the old people, like Mr. Asa Buller and a couple of other old people, and uh, they revived a version of their song, which uh, Cor Corey and Lisa McCauley um, went to, uh, 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 which uh, they, they uh, revived by going to talk to uh, Mr. Asa Buller and get some of the words of the song. It's a little bit different. And uh, they revived some of the same costumes and some of the same strategies that used, used to be done. Uh, maybe you can tell, now one of the things that you may have noticed is very different already is the presence of whips. <clears throat> um, this, this leads us to think that there's something very old going here. See, are any, uh, anybody from California? Okay, you, you couldn't go back home and, and say, look, I saw this wonderful thing in Eunice, here's what we'll do. I'll get a whip and you, see, people don't allow that. <laughs> something very old pushing you to do this. Uh, and uh, Captain, Captain uh, Kirk Guillory uh, can maybe tell us a little bit about these whips. Well, I don't know much about the history of it, but I know how to use it. <laughs> Oh, we're probably going to have uh, 